Welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. Today's pick a card reading is all about soulmates in separation. So if you find yourself in a situation where you would define this connection in no contact as a soulmate contact or a very important soulmate connection, um, this reading could be for you. So please pull up a chair, get cozy. We're going to have a little chat today because we're all friends when we gather around my table. I want to welcome back my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for all of your beautiful kind comments. A big welcome to everybody new who has stumbled across the channel for the very first time as well. I do pick a card readings on this channel. Um, I try to release a couple times a week. We would love to have you join our beautiful soul family as well. And as a thank you to my subscribers, I do offer a chance to win a free tarot reading. So all you have to do is drop your comment beneath any of my readings this month for your chance to win. I will be notifying the new winner via the comment section. So please Please be sure to hit your notification bells in case you are notified the winner. I will notify you via the comment section and give you clear indications on how to get the ball rolling with me. But for today's topic, it is a soulmate and separation topic. We're asking, how do they currently feel and are they ever going to reach out to you? So we do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one with the Queen of Pentacles and the Green Heart. Pile number two with the Knight of Wands and the Red Heart. Pile number three with the Three of Cups and the white heart so whichever pile or piles are calling out to you there may be messages waiting i'm going to jump into pile number one again today's soulmate and separation topic what are they thinking how are they feeling and are they ever going to reach out to you pile one hello pile number one you are drawn to the green heart and to the queen of pentacles and this is your reading Soulmates in separation, how do they currently feel and are they ever going to reach out to you? Now the Queen of Pentacles here, it just gives me this strong impression of keeping something at an arm's length. So perhaps you've created space here in this connection. Um, perhaps there is a significant length of time in no contact or even significant distance between the two of you at this moment as well. And they are specifically speaking about the position or the beauty even, but the position of the Divine Feminine, what you built for yourself, the type of person you have become. So there's an emphasis on that and on position at this moment. So let's take a look here. This person in no contact, soulmate in separation, this important connection to pile number one, what are their current feelings in this period of no contact? And do they have ever any intention of reaching out? So we have the death energy coming out first for you, pile one. Two of Wands, we have the Four of Cups, it wants to come out sideways, we're going to put it upright, but it wants to be sort of in a state of limbo. I feel like that might be important to the message. The Lovers, King of Swords, Ace of Wands back of the deck we have the king of pentacles and we have the six of cups so this is a very nostalgic connection this person could have been someone that you really knew for a very long time or perhaps even when you were um, even perhaps a child uh, or coming of age as well with the six of cups they just have a lot of memories about you that sort of keep them going in this moment they they tell themselves perhaps because of their own position that they can't really do anything about the separation at this time but there's something very paralleled about your experience, about your life. You can see the Canadian geese here that are flying in tandem, but there's a sense of the two of you in very similar positions with the King and Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Swords as well. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They do feel sort of a cold front coming in from you, whether again, whether there's been like a blocking energy or you've created firm boundaries or because of respect, the two of you keep each other at arm's length. They often wonder about whether or not you would welcome communication. We have the two of pentacles. And I do feel like the distance between the two of you have, has definitely created a certain amount of clarity surrounding their feelings for you or even the acknowledgement of what this connection meant to them. Because you've made a strong impression and you left a strong impression, I should say. <clears throat> and I, again, very paralleled here. You can see the, the even the high priestess is holding a mirror. 
So very mirrored feelings. If you search your heart about how you're currently feeling about this no contact situation, there could be a lot of mirrored feelings here. And I do think that like there's strong like memories that flood in. Like I like waves of emotion liter literally here with the two of pentacles. And someone who feels like they they should have moved on or they should have let go by this point perhaps, but they're still holding space. They do feel a certain amount. It's like their hands are tied, literally. <laughs> their hands are tied and their hands could be full because of position, because of other relationships. So please take that as it resonates. But I also feel like your hands could be full for the exact same reasons. But there was a certain amount of awakening. They're showing the cherry blossom just bursting forth here. Um, and I feel like even like the changes of seasons brings on a lot of memories of you. The beginning of school, you know, time, like September could be significant. Virgo could be very significant. We have the Ten of Swords. And although they are still very inspired, they don't feel very hopeful in this moment, I should say. And I feel like there's there's a sense of secrecy about how they have to keep their feelings for you under wraps, or they don't necessarily speak of it in a very truthful way or very open way or obvious way. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords, and they've had plenty of times to, to think about this as well. Plenty of time to think about how they feel, plenty of time to think about the things that didn't happen. They do wonder a lot about you and about whether or not you're going to communicate. I feel like that's the two of you are sort of in this dance of who's gonna communicate first um, in the present moment. My lights are flickering, it's interesting. But they are kind of devastated a little bit about the epiphanies that came about you that sort of came in too late or felt like they came in too late. And I will say here for you, Pal One, I do feel a certain amount of planning. Um, especially in the recent past, they've had a lot of planning. about what they would do if they were to connect with you or reconnect with you. But I also feel like this is a very smart person, a very logical person. And be, again, because of position, they're trying to be respectful or they're trying to be logical about their approach. And honestly, I feel like they're, they're going to have to change their approach. They do say, I have things left that I need to say. I'm trying to let go of the past. And I've always been afraid of rejection. I replay everything that happened in my mind. There is an emphasis here as well on friendship. And sometimes in a logic, this is like a logical approach that their ego takes where it start, tries to throw logic at them that makes sense perhaps, or that should make sense. Perhaps there's a, a been enough period of time here where logically in their mind, they can tell themselves that maybe you've let go or that you're not as interested. They will sometimes take it to that extreme because there's been a lack of contact. I dream of a second chance with you. Sometimes I feel like this person could fall victim to just dreaming though, instead of taking a really strong action. But there we have, I'm ready to act. It was coming in sort of reversed, but you drive me crazy. I want a new beginning on the back of that deck. How do they truly feel in this present moment, please, towards pile number one? Romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like there's an emphasis to the fact that this woman's back is to this masculine energy. She still turns to him, but um, it's like they do think about creeping up behind you or popping up out of, out of nowhere. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I just saw finances and career. I feel that there is a certain amount of monetary entanglement in their lives, especially if they're in another relationship or if they're married, for instance, the King and Queen of Pentacles are very established. There's a certain amount of even parental energy that can come from their experience as well. And that may or may not resonate with you. So please take the messages as they resonate. I am reading for the collective. Um, but they weigh the things that they've built against the feelings that they had for you in the past. 
And sometimes because of the practicality, the weight of the world that exists in the, in the 3D, it pales in comparison. They do think about sort of whisking you off on a vacation, a secret vacation where no one knows you. Wanting to give the relationship a chance and work on your, or make the effort. Great love is worth the steps you're guided to take. This is the Six of Cups for me. I always think of the Six of Cups and here it is. The roots are very deep here. The things that they haven't said, I feel like surpass the things that they have said in this connection as well. And I do, I do feel like we have new love on the back of the deck has stirred a romantic feeling. So perhaps new people have come and or gone um, in the period of time in which you haven't seen each other. And yet they still weigh that against you. So let's ask spirit about if they are going to reach out to you. Will they ever make contact with pile number one? We have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is right in the center of your reading as well. Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Ten of Swords here. They are emphasis, emphasizing temperance in this moment. They know that now is not the time. They keep establishing that now is not the time to come forward at this moment. We do have the Star. I feel like they secretly watch you online. I think that they could secretly be gazing at you or they're very aware of your situation or your, or your position at, at this time. So they feel like they have to make an adjustment. There's a feeling of, of sometimes helplessness that comes in because of what they know, because of what they understand about your situation. All of these fours, they're giving me the sense of like St. Michael and they're giving me the sense of like strength really being an issue here and a concern for the home and just a reality that stings for them at this time or and a reality that stings when it comes to what they know about you and your life at this time. So they don't feel like now is the time to approach, but the, but reunions and, and here's the three of cups, reunions at some point is what they would like to have. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. Again, the Ten of Pentacles could be family, could be career, something getting in the way, something that I'm really focused on in this moment that I, again, I have to keep it at arm's length or keep you at arm's length out of respect. But with my Two of Pentacles here in the plan, I do feel like this person, if they have the chance to, would love to eventually take action on this plan to reach out to you, pal one. Let's get advice for you card encouragement from your guides and angels for pile number one please we have here be present journey into the garden to escape the two eternities the past and the future and this person could drag you right into the past oftentimes and make your present seem sort of lackluster in comparison we also have here change as with falling leaves embrace it and the littlest key can open the heaviest door so the potential the connection still exists for you and the person on your mind, pile one. Let's get a charm bowl for pile number one. Ice for pile one in the bowl. <clears throat> seven of pentacles reverse, seven of swords, ace of cups. Now the seven of, of pentacles coming in the reversal really makes me think of like pulling things out of the ground, uprooting everything, um, moving, uninvesting in things that I've invested in. Um, there's a feeling about intentions of what could come after the plan like there's a certain amount of almost stress that's involved or like not wanting to disappoint people not wanting to be the heavy not wanting to be the cause of some type of upheaval but they do think about that but it feels like a secret the conflict of the consequences i feel like keeps them away we have in the bowl today the letter p we do have a big seahorse. That is my symbol for family. We also have here the linked hearts. I think of soulmate connection. Aquarius energy for the divine masculine. And watermelon. I do think of that Harry Styles song. So it's kind of sort of very physical. And we also have the, the shovel. So I think of karmic trench. Digging a digger pit for my... Or digging a deeper pit for myself. All right, pile number one. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to, and I do update that shop daily. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You are drawn to the Red Heart. You're also drawn to the Knight of Wands, and this is your reading. 
the soulmate and separation no contact situation on your mind at this time how does this person truly feel at this time and do they ever have plans on reaching out to you now the knight of wands here makes me feel like a lot of recklessness um it's like I even heard Dukes of Hazard. So like there's hazardous energy or there's like fear associated with being reckless, but sometimes they just want to be reckless. There could be a lot of fiery energy here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, there could be risk involved with taking action towards you, but sometimes perhaps they just want to. They just want to reach out and see where that takes them. So let's take a look here. I'm going to use the Modern Witch Tarot for you today. How do they currently feel? Soulmate and separation, no contact. How do they truly feel at this moment, please? We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands reversed. Oh, we have the Five of Cups reversed. The Ten of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Back of deck is the Ace of Wands. We also have the Hierophant. Three of Cups, Five of Wands. There's, there's still a sort of a jealousy that kind of brews with this person. Like they still get sort of jealous when it comes to you. Even if they don't have a right to, they kind of get jealous when it comes to you. And they have like, it's almost like they want to apologize for holding back or holding off this long. There's a certain amount of defensive energy that I feel coming in as well. It's like they're trying to avoid something. Maybe they're trying to avoid a conversation with you. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the chariot and there, you know, with the 10 of pentacles, there is a certain, again, amount of energy surrounding recklessness holding back for it as in, in a defensive way. It's like my loyalty to you is kind of like this dog that's kind of hidden underneath this cloak. Nine of swords reversed. Seven of wands back of deck is the justice and the star. Strength, Leo energy, very strong here. I'm almost picking up on like a very strong sense of like Christian faith, like somebody who has really adopted a Christian faith or who really is a, is a very strong Christian. And so this, this desire to just kind of break free and be reckless is kind of goes against the grain of how I should be behaving or what I should want. It's like I'm looking for a little bit of forgiveness for how I feel <laughs> here at the Five of Cups because I'm torn, because I'm torn in different directions and I should be focused. And, and it, it's, it feels like this is not, again, it's not, a, it's not an unfamiliar feeling. This is something almost like a habit that this person has formed here at the Nine of Swords. It's like, can you relieve me of some of the torment of this addiction, this addiction to you? Because they still feel this inspiration for change but it, it's going against the grain of like advice of almost like it kind of feels like spiritual advice. I feel like this person has either contacted you in the past online or has been very, very tempted to contact or reach out to you online. I feel like they have seen you online. Um, and there's just a certain maturity about you and attraction about you. It's like, it's, that's, what's kind of addicting is that there's something very still attractive about you that they would love to have a conversation with you. I will say this, if this conversation happens, it does feel like it comes in in, in a secret way, or it's like, they're not sharing it with the world when they do reach out to you or if, and I'm, we're going to check into on that, but I am getting a sense that there could be contact here that you can expect in the future of this connection, because sometimes it's a little bit too tempting not to give in to this desire, despite the fact that I feel like I'll be asking for forgiveness, <laughs> even within my own heart. Like, it's not like they're thinking they're going to have to ask for forgiveness from others. 
because they're planning on keeping it a secret. But it's like I still have to kind of live with my own conscience. But there's something very addictive about how they feel about this connection and about you. So it's like they can't really stop themselves. How do they truly feel, please? It feels like almost like a obsessive desire in the past. We have Yang, the Ace of Wands. Very strong masculine energy. Still inspired by this connection. Still thinks about you. It's easier to fantasize than it is to make it real. Do you believe in magic? Like the magician and I'm feeling a sense of control trying to control all the elements on the table that's why it's easier to maintain it in fantasy I shouldn't have treated you like all of the rest and there is regret here as well with the five of cups like it's almost like they want to apologize to you that could be part of the communication if they do communicate with you is they want to put it across as an apology there's still way more fire here than just an apology I am being pulled in two different directions. This could be their commitments. This could be their conscience. This has taught me what pain really is. Nine of swords, ten of swords. But there's almost something clarifying about it for them. It's like, it, it's, you know, when you have like a memory or a pain that almost, it's it's painful, but you're, you do it again. You would do it again. Like there's something enlightening about the pain. Don't you worry, I'm coming. It says, I am not ready to share and I'm waiting for the right time. So there, again, King of Pentacles, responsibilities. Ten of Pentacles could be home, career. We said this in pile one, actually. So there could be some messages waiting for you there. Um, but this person, it, again, it almost feels like they are too tempted. It's like they're worried about what where this temptation could bring them. And, the, and especially when it comes to the positions in their life and, and what, even respect that people have for them. You deserve love. You are lovable. They are holding back, but not because you are lovable. And I feel like you have, because this connection is intense and strong, you might have a certain impression about why they're holding back. And you may feel a certain way about that. You may feel very put off. It's like, how could they sort of hold back considering how strong our connection is? And they want you to know how difficult it is to hold back, that you are lovable, you do deserve love. Your life is being is ascending to a higher level of commitment, engagement. So you could be in a different, you know, situation or relationship. They could also have kind of leveled up in life in different areas. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith and flirtation. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Now, this could be an invitation of sorts <laughs> of like wondering if you're going to push through, if you get tired enough of waiting, if you're going to push through. Um, there could also be a message here surrounding faith and whether or not there could be further action coming from this person in the future. So let's ask that question of spirit. Spirit, will they reach out in no contact, the soulmate and separation? Do they have plans on reaching out? in the future. We have the Five of Swords. The High Priestess. They're very conflicted about it. Very wanting to keep safe. We have the Lovers. We have the Four of Cups reversed, and we have the Star. They, and here's the Six of Cups here with the Seven of Pentacles. They aren't going to reach out for a while, but they're going to apply a different strategy. There's going to be some type of new approach, or they're going to have a new outlook on something. Um, they're going to see things from a different perspective, and then they're going to reach out, and they, I think they're going to reach out to you via the internet. They're also speaking about, um, it, it's coming in a sort of a, um, a very friendly way, a very innocent way. So they could be trying to attempt to keep it in that position of very like innocent, just trying to reminisce, so to speak. 
to catch up, maybe some apologies that come through. But here they always, they're bringing me back to the Seven of Swords about somebody who's not necessarily 100% being honest with themselves or other people at that time. But I do feel like they're going to apl apply a different approach, a, a different perspective almost to their approach towards you. Because this is their approach right now and this is just dangerous <laughs> and it feels a little tempting. It's a bit dangerous. So they're going to flip the script in their own mind enough to give themselves some type of moral position to come forward or permission rather to come forward to you. But I feel like you might still have a little bit of a slight delay um, when waiting for this to happen in the future, pile two. Advice please for pile number two. We have rest, slow down. You don't have to solve everything today because you have time. <laughs> There's going to be a significant delay before this person does reach out to you because of their position, I think. Uh, could be your position as well, but this gives you time to, to decide which path you would like to take here at the Queen of Wands because you're going to be kept waiting. Which path do you want to take when they do come forward? Look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun and make time for little things today. Joy on the back of the deck. That's the only thing you really have to accomplish in this lifetime is learning how to experience joy. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. We have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Tower, Reverse, and the Knight of Cups. So they're trying to hold on to realistic expectations. They're, they don't want to create any type of disaster in your life. They don't want to create upheaval. There could be a sense of motherhood surrounding the Queen of Cups right now. So they're just trying to be logical, respectful, perhaps. A gentleman, almost, it feels like coming through too. Now, again, some of this is a little bit of dishonest because they're not being honest with themselves. They are torn. They are also in a sort of self-protective mode. We have the worker ant and the button. Thinking that I have to mend something or apologize for something. We have the, the screwdriver. It's like work that is laborious or something that takes a while. I think of tedious effort. We have why. We do have the honey cells and they're empty. I think of the five of pentacles and losing something practical. We have the cupcake, wanting my cake and eating it too. Police and the leaf of change and the wrench in our plans, but it's also an empowerment wrench. If we can overcome it, we can empower our position. Pile number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading, and I do update that shop daily, so keep checking back. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three. You are drawn to the White Heart. You are also drawn to the Three of Cups, and this is your reading. The soulmate and separation on your mind today, what are they feeling, and do they ever have plans on reaching out to you? Now, I just got this sense of like crystal clear intentions towards reunions <laughs> with the Three of Cups. Here, there's a sense of friendship, the desire to reunite with you as well, and just perhaps like um, a certain amount of clarity surrounding how much joy you brought to their life or how much fun they used to have with you. Like there's just a sense of having a lot of fun in this connection. So let's take a look here. What are they currently feeling for pile number three, please? How do they feel at this moment? Do they ever have any intention on reaching out to pile number three? What are their current feelings? We have the High Priestess. How do they truly feel, please? We have the King of Wands. The Page of Swords. We have the Devil reversed. We have the Hermit. Back of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Now, I'm getting a really strong sense of somebody who sometimes tells themselves that they're crazy for thinking that you feel the same way. Like, it's almost like they tell themselves that it's impossible 
or that they're crazy for thinking that you could feel the same way. Now, again, this may or may not be the truth, but this is sort of a, sometimes a self-deprecating feeling that they have, that they internalize. Oops. On the floor, we have the Seven of Swords supporting the High Priestess. And the, we can't deny the, the amount of secrecy that this sort of requires, the High Priestess with the Seven of Swords. Like there's, it's sort of, com, it's combative as well because the High Priestess is completely truthful. She sits on wisdom, but the Seven of Swords can be some, sometimes be dishonest and we lie to ourselves about certain things. So it's like there's a battle that goes on between the truth that they hold about their connection with you and the logical approach that they apply to convince themselves that they're wrong. We have the five of swords and it feels like completely no, like radio silence, no contact at all. But they feel you or you feel each other. It's like they feel like they can sense you or uh, again, they think of you so much that they, they hope that you can sense each other. Or you're picking up on each other's energy. And they're kind of, to be honest with you, protective of that, that connection, of that friendship, of even the memories of you. I feel like they're really protective of you. And they're, they're speaking about remembering you in class or in school. Could be at work, but it feels more like a, a learning environment. And they either look at photos of you from the past, or this could be current day where they they try to keep tabs on you because the page can be a watcher um, in this moment. Here's the chariot. Cancer energy coming through. Capricorn as well, Virgo. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Here's the nine of swords. And they just can't stop. Like they just can't stop obsessing over things, obsessing over like the littlest details from the past, things that made them feel insecure, actions that they didn't take. They just can't stop obsessing over these things. That's what keeps them sort of very stuck and conflicted as well. And it's been a long time. It almost feels like it's been a while. of no contact, especially like a long time of no contact. And I feel like they're too afraid to reach out at this moment. But they're too, they're getting too much in the habit of just sitting in the background and watching. And for some reason, they just emphasize the fruit bat and the sweetness of fruit. And, um, they're showing me that children's book, Stella Luna. And in that children's book, that little bat, she was raised by birds. So she grew up eating bugs and they didn't taste very good to her until she realized she was a fruit bat and she tasted fruit for the first time. So they're speaking about the sweetness of that, of never getting to see that until they take that chance here with the Ace of Cups, to vocalizing something to you, taking the chance and clarifying. They'll never get the chance to experience that type of sweetness. Now, you can see here at the Hermit, here in the Ten of Pentacles, there's a certain amount of almost um, bullseye energy and like goal orientation. But I feel like they think they have to have a strategy or a plan or like um, a perfect conditions in order to launch themselves towards you. And this strategy that this strategy about strategy, I feel like is actually holding them back from accomplishing their goals. They're sort of a tire kicker when it comes to accomplishing this desire towards reunions because that there is a very crystal clear intention towards that, towards wanting to reunite with you. But am I strong enough? That's what it feels like. Am I strong enough to push myself forward? And I feel like they have bursts of energy where they feel really confident and that's where the plans come in. That's where the strategy comes in. And then there's these bursts of energy where they don't take the action that they should be taking. So they retreat and they wait. I really am sensitive deep down, but I put up a big front and I act happy, but I'm not happy. These are coming out together. So we'll pair those together.
they do have um like fantasies about you if this was just a friendship i feel like they do have like physical fantasies about you now as well i'm a better person because of you you've really changed me and i'm not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons I do want commitment with you, but just not yet. It's like waiting for the, again, they feel like they're waiting for the perfect moment. But a lot of that is masking their own fear, masking their lack of strength. I'm severing ties with a karmic partner. They could be pulled in different directions because of other energies that are invested in their life at this moment. There is an emphasis here on responsibility. And that's what's slowing them down. But there is there is no sort of blockage or blockade to you reaching out. I feel like there is a sense of them saying, I can't at this moment, but you know, they're opening up this door for the divine feminine if she wants to be the leader here. I've thought about having a family with you. And I do think about the future. And when I do, I think about you in it. Back of the deck says, I've been thinking about proposing to you. Your first card here is the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. Like there is a, there's something that they're sitting upon, a truth that they're sitting upon. Perhaps they have intentions of sharing it. How are they truly feeling at this moment, please, for pile number three? If you're, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. There's something different about you. True love. This is the ro romance of a lifetime. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Back of the deck says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from other people. I do feel the emphasis on a slow moving momentum, a slow moving plan. There is a sense of them perhaps looking towards the divine feminine who feels more almost mature or it's like they, they expect they expect more maturity out of you for some reason um this could just be sort of a convenient scapegoat of saying i can't yet but maybe you could if you chose to now let's take a look and ask spirit about the future of this connection does pile three's person have intentions of reaching out to pile number three please page of cups they do their secret intentions though and again there's this war between the sort of their dark side and their light side about when this should happen they do have intentions of sort of popping up out of the blue in fact again they're very inspired to do so like i have crystal clear intentions of what i want when it comes to this separation But then their, their ego comes in with all of these what ifs. What if I get rejected? What if I'm alone in these feelings here? And that's what slows them down. They have a bit of a travel issue here when it comes to change. I just saw the tower on the back of the deck as well. The tower could be in reference to this 10 of pentacles and responsibilities for either one of you. Four commitment cycles that could be in place at this time, which they may have intentions of severing in time. But that's going to slow them down. And there's the Hermit, Seven of Swords. I do feel like they see the obstacles and they have intentions of pushing through. But if, and again, there's an emphasis on your position, on the Divine Feminine's position as well. But they have secret intentions on reaching out. They just feel like it's going to take some time and some careful calculated steps in order to execute this reunion. And this timing could, again, it could be different for everyone involved. Like it could be different for everyone watching. Um... But the hermit does sometimes take baby steps, and this person does have a significant obstacle in place. Advice, please, for pile number three. Give here joy. Make time for little things today. This came in pile number one. Because you have set, or perhaps pile number two, you have do you do have a significant time frame to work with to make adjustments in your situation, for instance, or to really reflect upon your feelings. All flowers must grow through the dirt. 
And they're speaking about breakthroughs, a breakthrough that will come through eventually in this connection, but how it's like we're both toiling. And it's interesting that they use that analogy because of the earthworm energy here as well. As well, It's like toiling beneath the surface, toiling with no contact, but that there will be a breakthrough in the future. We have change as with falling leaves, it's time to embrace it. So change could be on the horizon in this connection if you choose so in the future, pile three. Let's get a charm bowl. Pile number three. Ten of swords. Reverse, knight of cups, and the moon reverse. Everything in reverse in the bowl today, pile three. They just, they keep talking about like unrealistic expectations that they're afraid will actually be revealed to them. So there's a sense of having to kind of change my approach or change directions in some way. Um, there is a certain amount of forgiveness and release that comes along with the Ten of Swords as well in the reverse position. It's like th there's a sense of the necessity to gain freedom from this. I don't want to use the word like obsession because that seems extreme, but it just seems like they are um, making a habit out of thinking of you. And there's more that's going to be revealed in the future of this situation. I also feel like they could dream about you. There's an emphasis on Scorpio energy, Cancer. We have the big purple flower. I do think about um, sort of coming into my own or moving into a state of sovereignty. We do have the strawberry. I think of the age 17. I also think of star and Aquarius energy. We have I and I. We have will and we have zero with the fool. We also have Y and the screwdriver. So every time I see the screwdriver, I do think about rotation and a slow rotation and tedious work that I have to put in and do by hand. It's like taking a long time to accomplish a goal. All right, pile number three. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. And I just hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope you have a great day.